What's up, everybody? Dark G here. Beat the Fire Films. Sacred Life Art and Music. And I'm going to run through another magic tutorial. I'm going to update my old one. So if you haven't seen it, you should watch that one first, I guess. Unless you've been using the program for more than a week. Because <laughs> that's when I made it. I only had it for like... You know, I used it for a few weeks, and then I bought it. and I, So I had it for like three weeks, but this tutorial, I'm working off of, you know, months and months of playing with it. So um, I have a whole different layout and everything. I got my playlist showing. Um, you have the window, your window scene, and your audio, which you want to grab. I'm going to grab some audio just because I need something to run everything. Where am I going? Uh go here. Give me this. Right? Okay. Um from here I will run through some basics. You obviously you would just add um something, you know, like say a star field, right? You will add a star field. And I'll slow it down a little bit. And I'll make them a little smaller. And I'll add more of them per second. And if you notice, you can highlight the line here. If you right click on this line, you can insert stuff right into the line. It makes life a lot easier. Yeah, you know, I'll stick a kaleidoscope in there. So now we have kaleidoscope stars, right? He's got this is new for me, the corners option, which fills these these little corners here, depending on you know the the setting for your kaleidoscope. Uh, I'll add something else. I'll just add um, trails to make life easy. Ooh. Put some speed going out, right out at me. Okay. So this is scene one. Okay, I'm gonna set this up as scene one. Maybe um, what could I do? How could I animate this? I guess I'll um, I'll insert. Uh, rotate axis and I'll rotate the axis, okay? Let's see, Z, animate that, play the music, okay? Let's go down to say four. Now we got some rotation on the stars. Right? Keep that a little low. Um, that's scene zero. So what I do normally, you can, you can go to scene here and add a new scene and start from scratch if you want. What I normally do in order to keep like blending blending mix and, and the feel of each scene kind of the same is I duplicate the scene you know so now I have the same scene twice and over here on the playlist I'll add an entry and I'll put the second scene in there and we got on I'll run them for 10 seconds instead of 30 and now what I can do is turn down the stars on this second scene so there isn't as many Make them smaller, make them slower, and put it on six, and rotate Y instead. Okay? And so now, you come over here to your playlist, you go audio, file, control, and auto advance like this. And it'll run. Every ten seconds, it'll flip back and forth between the two scenes. It'll be hard to tell right now. So, well, you can see right there, I guess. You can tell. 
what what just happened. See how see how that works? And there's you know a crossfade and an additive dissolve transition. So what you would do is um here I'll add something to this scene. I'll add an image to this scene so we can get a difference here. Um, keep in mind that I create tons of digital art, so I'm st stacked with images. And now we have that, and it should cycle. See, it cycles. And you can time every every scene for your song time down here, and either do the math or show the start times for each scene and then you can time all your transitions all your scenes to flow however you want them to flow now there's a bunch of options here I'm not sure these are controller options and it looks like I'm not even sure uh, note velocities there's a there's a lot of options you know um, beats me what any of them, of them do right here. I have no idea. I just <laughs> fiddle around. I'll put it on after touch 8. I'm not sure what that does. If it does anything. Sometimes I put it on last note. I mean, I, I, I'm not really sure. So, from here, you know, you could just keep going. You can duplicate this scene again. I'll change the image. So it's different. And then add an entry to the playlist. Make it that scene. Make it 10 seconds. We'll time these transitions to be 4 seconds instead of 2 seconds. And now we have this scene here. Where I can go back to rotating. Z. Right? And I can put it on 8. Right, and we can change the stars to something else. Uh, bigger, faster. Well, there you go. And as you go through, it'll it'll time itself with the song, and you'll be able to, uh, you know, actually pinpoint and and make your transitions on time and have everything just laid out by a time scale or you could um, do the live thing like if I switch to the microphone now you can see that it's my voice that's that's making things um, move around and change if I put it on auto advance it'll just play this for 10 seconds as I speak and it'll switch to the next scene and it'll be my voice again making it react see that so when it comes to live audio feeds and um a play you could you could make a playlist of scenes here you know you, you run scenes across the whole bar and have 11 different 12 different scenes 14 15 16 different scenes I haven't gone that high, so don't take my word for that, but I do have s some things that I've made with six or seven scenes, and, you know, you're only hitting, like, the mark right here, so if you can go across this board, you're, you're talking, like, almost 20 scenes. I don't know if there's a scene limit or anything. Um, I don't see why there would be. I don't see why you would need more than 10 or 12 scenes. Um... But other than that, that's just a little basic rundown of, of how to do some things. You know, obviously we could, um, I'll turn this auto thing off. We'll go back to this scene here. You, you can do all kinds of things here. You know, I could just change everything about this scene. I could copy the scene and, and change it more, make it a new scene, change the image, um, add more into the line here. You, you could just add your basic um, waveform. I'll put a waveform. 
right into the line um right here right yeah now it's there I see it see here this line popping up now you probably see it. you mute these and we can see what I'm doing you can just kind of bypass these right you see so you can see what you're doing you know what I mean and you could just keep going you could just keep going like insert and insert this here I'll put it on something like you, you see see what I mean see what see where it's going if I, if I don't talk nothing happen so you could see what you're doing in real time it'll play back in real time this is real time right now the only time is real time right <laughs> but here here's that and here's that with that uh, I mean again you don't need I, I could disconnect the output skip the kaleidoscope skip that just put it this on the trails yeah see the see the bar now it's a, it's a different deal yeah, that's kinda cool <laughs> but anyway just some basics on how to um you could just keep adding entries and, and keep putting scenes in and have it timed out and roll through and everything would be hunky dory the whole time it, it's it's really um it's a wicked program you know you can import video you can do all kinds of things like uh, replace with let's say there's HSB there's RGB all all these 2D effects from trails the kaleidoscope invert saturation contrast there's geometries there's polygons a spectrum the star field with here's images and I'm not sure I think this is for 3D modeling right vidcap is is 3D modeling you can import 3D models and animate the 3D model with within the scene here you know um, there's 2D scenes, there's fractal scenes, there's rotation, scale, translate, all, all, all kinds of uh, crazy options everywhere, man. I don't see how anyone could ever get bored or say there's not enough to, uh, to work with. Um, I love this program. It's great. That's kind of why I'm making this video because it, it's, it's an awesome program. You can't go wrong if you're into this stuff, and you you want to make audio synced visuals and and import your images and animate your images and stuff like that and just make really cool tripped out videos for music. Then this is your best bet here. Magic, yeah, magic music visuals, man. And with that, I guess I I'll say I hope you learn something <laughs> I know there's a lot more to it that I, I don't understand and that I don't use it's because I'm not I don't perform live someone asked me if there was a way to import live video and I don't think that that's possible you can import a video and have it run in the background or have it run behind a whole bunch of things or have it be have certain effects on it and stuff like that but a live video feed, I don't know. A live audio feed, yes. A live video feed, I don't know. So, um, yeah. That's it. There you go. I'm taking off. I'll catch everybody later. Uh, peace, love, and gratitude. And namaste to all of you.